All right, guys, so back again, just for a real quick unboxing. Um, I actually didn't expect this knife to come in so soon. It's supposed to come in tomorrow, and it came in today, um, which is great. Um, although, I did place this order in the middle of last week, um, so Blade HQ was just a little bit slow about getting it out, but not too bad. I'm not going to bitch. You know, it's not like I need this knife immediately. <clears throat> just DLT seemed to have been quicker about getting the knife I ordered out. But anyways, so just pull it out of the packing peanuts. Spider Co. All right. Slide this out of the way. So this is Spider Co. In Della. Okay. And K390. So sit this to the side. Spider Co. sticker. Stuff. Um, all that good jazz. All right, so put the box back up, set it to the side. You guys, if you've been around, you know what to expect from Spider Co. All right, <clears throat> so this is the first time. Looks like we've got a package of lube. Nope, nope, that's just a freshness package. So I guess just to keep st uh, moisture down or something. All right, so Spider Co. Indella. Seki City, Japan, right? K390. So right off the bat, this knife feels good. I was gonna go with the Delica. I was gonna, I was kind of scared it was too small. Uh, then the Endura looked way too big. So I guess this did fit the middle ground. So the Spyrco and Della K390. I wanted to try out something different. And to me, right now, everybody's raving about K390. Um, you see right there. Seki City, Japan. If it'll focus. All right, for some reason, the camera's being stupid. It's not wanting to focus. But anyways, it says Seki City, Japan. You can kind of see it right there. All right. Um, is this, the camera's playing a little bit of tricks. Uh, it is a lighter shade on camera than it is in person. It's actually pretty darker blue, almost a greenish color, but pretty sharp. Let's see, it looks pretty even as far as the grind goes. Um, I was actually debating between this and the Warncliffe model. Um, I still probably will get the Warncliffe, but I don't know what I'll get that in. Maybe the Delica. Maybe just another Indela. Uh, still not sure. But I definitely want to try out the K390. So I'm going to give it a try. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my new purchase. I do like that they already put the clip where everybody does for some reason whenever i got this this is what i've been packing the paramilitary 2 and cpm crew wear the clip is always up there even on my paramilitary 3 i have lightweight the clip was up there i had to swap it. or no maybe not on the paramilitary 3 maybe the tenacious that i have i'm not sure but anyways i just swap the clip around and it just makes more sense to just go ahead and put it here now, what I think this is a contender with, and what everybody seems to be saying online, is this is a contender with this. No, this isn't as light as the bug out, but they said the K390 outperforms S30V, and it is what the bug outs used to cost. Uh, I think these are going for like 150 now. I can't even say I got it for what they used to cost. I got this knife for 70 bucks. I uh, just lucked out, found it on sale at Cabela's, and then also had some reward points, and then even a gift card, and knocked this knife down to actual dollars I paid for it was like 71 and some change. So lucked out on this, pretty good. But anyways, this was 130 some dollars, I think. And I think the Delica is cheaper. It's like 128 on Blade HQ. Um, 
feels good in the hand. Just feels like a Spider Co knife, but feels good. Now it is the lock back. I don't know why they don't do the compression lock like the Para does. It's obviously a superior locking system, but can't really complain. And they say K390 from Seki City Japan is just a phenomenal blade still. Um, not your average ADC has talked about it. Um, just a couple other channels I watch here and there have just raved about K390 from Seki City Japan. So I just wanted to give it a try. That's just the quick unboxing, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.